What's going on everybody? The topic of today's video is what to do when you feel completely and utterly alone. So for those of you out there who are probably dealing with depression or you are dealing with loneliness, I wanted to talk to you guys about some of the things that you can do to overcome some of these negative feelings that you are experiencing because loneliness, this feeling of emptiness is something that countless people go through throughout their life. And for some, it is obviously much worse than others. I mean, some people feel as though they have been living in isolation ever since when they were younger. Maybe they weren't accepted in any social circles through, you know, elementary school, middle school, or high school. And, you know, they have just been banished or, you know, made to, to feel as though they're like an outcast of society. And that is a feeling that no one should ever have to experience. And you know, I know I've said it before that like, you need to be the source of your happiness, your love and your fulfillment. Like it starts with you and you alone, but everybody, as far as I'm concerned, needs someone in their life that they feel that, you know, cares about them or that they can reach out to when they need some support or moral guidance or even just somebody to listen or lend a helping hand. And if that's where you are at right now, I really want to talk to you guys about some of the things that you can do to get over these feelings that you are experiencing. So let's go ahead and dive right into this and talk about some of those things. So first and foremost, if you are feeling lonely or you just, you don't have anybody in your life, like you don't have any friends, all of your family maybe has passed or, you know, is estranged and, um, you know, maybe, you know, you work in a, a, a job that doesn't have a very big office. There's not many coworkers there and you don't even have any professional, you know, types of relationships in your life. What I would suggest to you is to get involved in some community program. So like there's a website called meetup.com and this is basically just a group of people who meet up to do all sorts of different things. So they have this kind of broken down into like, so if you're kind of like me, you really like physical activity, you like going out, doing things, being active and interacting with other people, you can get involved in like, you know, sports or hiking or whatever, or, you know, they have other ones like people who are into art or, you know, wine enthusiasts, um, you know, book clubs, stuff like that, movie clubs. So I would encourage you to just start getting involved with things that interest you because when you surround yourself with people who share common interest as you, people who typically like the same things tend to like one another. That's the same way that I tell you guys is the best way to meet and find people to date is just by going out and doing the things that you truly enjoy to do. So getting involved in some community um, programs where people in your town or in your area are actually getting out, going out, enjoying their life, you know, establishing new relationships and new connections, whether they be personal, professional, or romantic, it doesn't really matter, but getting involved in those types of programs can absolutely provide you that social life of abundance that I always talk about and I preach so heavily on on this channel. But something that you can do if, you know, you don't want to do that is you can start an outreach program. Like you can support, or excuse me, start a support group. Be the leader. 
Be the founder of that group. So like, if you are just like, let's just say you're into meditation, right? Okay, just go on, um, you know, whatever it is. I mean, you can go on uh, the community's member, uh, excuse me, the community's portion of Craigslist. You can go on social media, all different um, websites and, you know, post, hey, um, I'm going to be doing a mindfulness meditation practice in the park at seven o'clock on Thursday. I would love for anybody interested in practicing meditation, learning meditation, or just coming to, you know, sit with, sit with me would be welcomed and encouraged, you know, so putting it out there, maybe you'll be the first person to start a movement of people that, you know, again, maybe they're just like you and they're looking for some support in their life or they're looking for connection that they may be missing in their life. So actually taking ownership, being responsible for the current state of your life is so extremely important. So I would just encourage you guys to get involved or again, to take the initiative to put yourself out there and just, again, whatever it is that interests you, go after that because if it interests you, the chances are it's going to interest many other people. I mean, now with, with the internet, you can see just how clearly, like, there are groups for everything, for everything. I mean, you know, every type of music there's, you know, fans of. Every type of art there's different fans of. It's like, oh, I'm into, you know, botany or whatever it is. Or like, I want to start um, a raised raised garden, you know, whatever. There's raised garden groups, I'm sure. There's, you know, anything that you can think of. Religion, you know, every religion. Groups of people that are involved in coming together to talk about that and to share in their beliefs and their thoughts and their opinions. So whatever it is that interests you, follow those things. If you follow those things, it's just a matter of time before you start connecting with people and establishing new connections and relationships that will completely change and enrich your life. Nobody should have to go through life feeling like they're completely alone or isolated. Like that is, to, to me, that's depression. That, that reminds me all, like as I'm saying all of them, like that just sounds like what depression feels like. like you're completely isolated and depression is just that you can feel completely alone even when you know there's people out there that love you care about you and support you so you don't have to go on living your life like this you can change the momentum by starting to take action and moving your life in the direction that you want it to go which is again a having a social life of abundance having romantic um, options with the people that you desire, and this is what is going to add a whole nother level of fulfillment to your life. So if you want my help with combating loneliness, feeling like you are just completely isolated and getting over that and breaking those chains, I would love to hear from you. So you can get a hold of me by heading over to my website at thebalancedalpha.com. You can sign up for whatever coaching session works best for you there. But until then, take care of yourself, stay balanced, and I look forward to seeing you guys again soon.